Well, the warm weather in Pueblo today making it a shorts and t-shirts kind of day at the Colorado State Fair. <laughs> oh yeah, fair officials say attendance is up by more than 5,000 people after just one day. Meanwhile, downtown Pueblo was packed this morning as people celebrated one of Colorado's oldest traditions. Yeah, the annual Colorado State Fair Parade has been going on for more than 60 years and KRDO News Channel 13's Carl Winder spoke with a couple who says they never miss a state fair parade. <laughs> Excitement is in the air in downtown Pueblo. But it seems to grow more every year. For Joe and Ursi Rivera, it's an excitement they haven't missed in more than 50 years. I, I like the people and I like to see what's in the parade. I like, I like the floats and the bands. The atmosphere. And a celebration they want to share with their grandson. I just love spending time with my folks and I just like seeing every new stuff that they have at the parade. And it's just fun to come out here. The theme of this year's parade is Colorado Gem of the West and it highlights what makes Colorado so special. The state of Colorado is a diverse state with a lot of different interests from tourism to oil and gas to agriculture to high tech. Uh, it certainly has grown over the last uh, few decades. And While some people have been to the parade for decades, it's the last one for Chris Wiseman. He was honored as the parade's Grand Marshal after he decided to step down as general manager of the fair after 11 years. To get the opportunity to be honored in this community for the work that we've done at the Colorado State Fair, really, it's about all the employees here too. It was a true honor. As for the Riveras, they say as long as they're alive, they're going to keep coming to the State Fair Parade. In Pueblo, Carl Winter, KRDO News Channel 13. The parade had